We're located actually at a, at a home, and this house has been experiencing some stuff actually with inside and also on the outside. Okay, all right. Now I understand that you guys have a, have had some paranormal encounters here. How long have you lived here, by any chance? Uh, since July. And have you had anything happen to you by any chance? Like, have you have you come across anything? I uh, there has been lots of stuff. I really haven't felt anything on by myself, but uh, my family members have. Maybe I'm not acceptable to it. I'm not, not sure. Okay. okay. And how big is the how big is the yard by any chance? Uh, the yard is 35 acres. So it's big property. It's full of trees, forests. Horses, like lots of different stuff, rocks, stream. Okay, so what I originally got though from your from your other half, like your wife, is yeah. the original homeowner did renovation here. Yeah. Uh, can you sort of explain what what happened? Like, did the original owner find anything in the walls by chance, or? Yeah, I guess they found some stuff when they were doing some renovation because they renovated the whole house from the, basically from the studs up. And um, they found some stuff in the walls, like some old newspaper clippings, some old shoe, and uh, just a bunch of old stuff, like a doll made out of like sawdust, I guess, and a wooden hand or wooden arm or something. Right, and how old is this house by chance, do you know? Uh, I believe it's about 125 years old. All right, now I know though that your mother-in-law actually reached out to us, and you and I were quite a bit talking. Um, can you sort of explain sort of what you were actually telling me sort of on the phone, what you've actually had encounters here? Uh, sure. Since we moved in here, um, it seems like a string of bad luck. <laughs> kind of um, a heavy feeling. Um, we had some losses, three animal losses, and then um, a personal loss, a baby loss. Um, and that's just in four months, so it just, we felt like this was the only chance to sort of figure out this is our dream home, this is our, you know, our, our new family home. We got it for a great deal, which you always hear about, <laughs> and uh, we're kind of wondering if that's why. Um, the dogs have reacted in certain areas of the house, and when we actually talked to the previous owners, they also said their dogs reacted in the same location as well, so, but they didn't seem to want to tell us that they sensed anything anyways. Um, there's been doors slamming, um, banging. Okay. All right, we're not going to go much in, okay. into detail. All right. All right. Uh, the reason why it's going to go on those, I'm going to go on, the, actually on in. Okay. Uh, I'm, and then she's going to actually ask you a couple of little questions. Now, right when she comes in though, is if you can actually just say yes, no, without going into detail. Okay. All right. All right. That way, um, we can sort of be able to pick up some stuff. Perfect. Hi, Kristen. I'm here to uh, share my meditation with you today, somewhat about uh, a few things that I've picked up during, during my inspirational uh, meditation in connection with spirit. And I have um, had a, a look around the property through spirit while I was uh, at a distance before I met you. And there was a few things that I was uh, picking up that I wanted to touch base with you on. There, um, and I, the thing is, uh, I got this feeling I really needed to ask you if you've had your water tested or your air tested, air quality, and the land, maybe the soil tested. Um, we're on town water, um, and the house, all the pipes were redone before we moved in. Um, for the air, it was summer. So we had all the windows open and, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. nothing could really affect it that I can think of. Okay, then it's, uh, I've also heard um, some laughter, sort of weird laughter in the sense that uh, there, there's something weird that's making them laugh weirdly, <laughs> like spirit, weird laughing. Mm -hmm. So it's not sinister laugh? It's not sinister? No. No, it, it can almost be taken that way, but it's just because something doesn't make sense to the person who's laughing. So they're, it's kind of weird <laughs> and okay. odd there. Um, and uh, I see a wheel, uh, like a tractor wheel that's in the mud. Okay. Just, uh, 
And if, if anything that I make a point on reminds you of anything, then um, you can say something about that. Um, also a damp crate that has a, it looks like a wooden crate and it's very damp and you can't see the full, well, it looks like a box, but I can't see the full box. Okay. Mm -hmm. There, there is also two spirits. I'm thinking I'd like to mention. They're both teenage, and they're the first. In, for say, the first one is female, late teens. There, she's really, really angry at the world, and um, I wondered if you've experienced some anger, some angry type of uh, happenings around here. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, for sure. <laughs> so that, um, because I think I have a, cl a clue to understanding why she's angry mm -hmm. and, um, and what it means. Also, a, a young man, like he's uh, teenage years as well. Okay. Um, and he's feeling the same way as she is. We're so we've got angry two people. <laughs> and you know, it could be starting with teenagers at times, mm -hmm. as yes, it is. They'll be the same on the other side as they are here. True. Now they, they do have an understanding, and I'm, I'm picking up an understanding from the both. An adult, an adult spirit, she seems to be the mother or, or, or that type of maternal person to them. Um, they're also mad at her, but they're just mad at the world, really. I also see a, a mother spirit and she is really trying to come up towards the female uh, teenager. She's really trying to explain to the teenager that she that what happened wasn't her fault, and that wasn't the mother's fault. So she's really uh, the, the teenager female is putting the mother away. Like I said, no, she's just walking away and doesn't really listen. Mm -hmm. But it's just. But I have this understanding that it's just because she's so mad at the world and frustrated because she, her life ended too early, and it's uh, it's really been she's really trying to to come to terms with that, and and she hasn't yet. Okay. So, and uh, with the son, the teenage boy, it's very much the same idea. He's very much in the same type of space, only he's a little more aggressive. Um, and they really don't, they're blaming the world, but at the same time, they're not blaming their their mother. At, but yet, she feels the blame, because yeah. they're, they're still taking it out on her. And that's the way teenagers yeah. react. So Krista, uh, I hear that Mark has sent you a picture. Um, did you have something to, to say about the picture that he sent? Um, yeah, Mark um, sent us a picture that clearly showed a spirit of um, a young man. Um, we haven't, we don't know who this young man is. He looks like he's carrying a satchel or something or a bag. Okay. So it'll be really interesting to see if we can find out who he is. He is. So have you heard any? Um, anything around the house, so uh, banging at the doors. Yeah. And yes, I have. The unusual knocking in other areas of the house, or um, upstairs. Have you felt anything? Um, felt anything that's on the ordinary within spiritually? Um. Yeah. Some anger. <laughs> and uh, do you do you have any dreams at all that seem to not to relate to you, but maybe to the What's happening? Um, we're all dreaming so much. Mm -hmm. Different dreams. <laughs> I also like have a notepad. I do. What hat? What's actually on it? So I've been trying to keep notes of the things that have been happening around. Yeah. Um, so a lot of the electronics in the house are not working properly. Um, even though we've called our uh, provider, our cable provider, and stuff. Um, the fire alarms that are hardwired into the house, they go off periodically and it seems that they go off whatever level of the house we are sleeping on. As weird as that sounds, because there's a top and a bottom. Yeah. Um, the TV changes all the time during the day. Okay, so with the TV though, 
Um, is it basically without the clicker? Yeah, the remote it, control? Just, it just changes. We're, we're sitting in here and all of a sudden we notice it's on a different station. Okay. Um, I know a while ago, right when we were talking though, you were saying though that you, that you and your other half were actually out and I think it was your brother-in-law or brother was actually in one of the rooms and they heard somebody actually in. Um, everyone was out of the house except myself and my brother and sister-in-law. Okay. Um, we were sitting in the living room and our one dog came out here and started barking and we heard a male voice which we thought uh, was the father um, and then they then came up the driveway in the car. No one else was home at that time when we heard that voice. Okay. Is that one of the things you let touch on the sheet? Other than that, it's just the banging. Um, oh, and I have noticed a strange smell coming from the basement, but it was only in the first month that we lived here. So, you know, being summer, I kind of wonder if it's the dampness. So I haven't smelt it any more than that. Okay. Now, what type of smell by any chance? Was it like a musty smell or did yeah. it smell like a decaying? It smelled musty. It smelled musty, for okay. sure. Okay. And you were saying about the knocks. Was it like... Um... Threes? It was in three the first night. The very first night we moved in, it was in threes, and then the second night was in twos, and then the third night was in ones. Okay. Like just one knock. So being a new house, you just assume, oh, that's strange. The house is. But because it's not consistent, and again, there's nothing. We didn't even have our furniture in the house at that time. There were, the house was completely empty. Okay. All right. And what else? What a chance. Um, I'm not sure the animals. Oh, I mentioned the baby spoon. Yeah. Um, and the items found. Oh, our water has stopped working periodically. And again, we're on town water. So just all of a sudden, we'll go into the bathroom where I seem to feel the most. And you turn on the taps, and no water comes out. Okay. Like just no water pressure, nothing like that. Well, it sounds like the water's been turned off. You know, the hissing yeah. sound that comes up? That's all it sounds like. And that comes back on. Um, I think that's actually it. Closed doors, slamming, slamming doors. Okay, right, right. So again, though, Krista and her husband just moved in. That was actually a couple months ago. Um, and they, they have been experiencing stuff. So we're actually going to be here tonight filming and checking out the location all together. So why don't we just head out back uh, okay. to the land, all right? I don't know if you're going to go, if your husband's going to go, or or whatsoever, but we'll we'll head out with Wanda and whoever right. and we'll sort of check out the land. Sounds great. Alright, so let's go. Thanks. Say you were actually saying though that you guys are finding what back here? I find stuff over here. Like the, I, if you notice Bones. Yeah there's bones. I find clothes. Because every time when I go across the land with the tilt like I, I rake I use a the ATV and drag so I I spread the manure around. Okay. I'm ripping the land up a bit, so I'm digging stuff out of it. Not, not, you know, just because I have to clean all the, you know, manure. Yeah. And uh, I guess I disrupt the uh, soil a bit and stuff starts coming up. Okay. Um, because when we moved here, all this, this stuff here, we couldn't even walk through it. It was like this high. Okay. So the horse is just basically eating all this, and I'm us walking through here. And stuff. So this is the first time it's ever been bare. And now we're finding. And now we're finding stuff. <laughs> it, it basically it is, looked. Uh, it looked like the stuff over there. That's all. Okay, so the, the tall weed grass. Tall thing. weed grass. And the horses love eating that stuff. So they've eaten like how it is right now. See the the grass is tall. Yeah. It was all like that in here. You couldn't even walk through it. Okay. Okay. Well, because right when I was looking, actually, at the satellite view, right, it went a little back a little bit further. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have so Way. much. We're over even over the hill. Yeah. So I was getting stuff over that way. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what I was sort of picking up though was actually like a, a graveyard. Mm-hmm. But there's like a false wall, sort of like a T junction. So it's going from here straight out and then straight out. Well, yeah, there's places that do, do jut out with yeah. uh, ro a lot of rocks. Lots of rocks. There's, there's so many rocks back there. Mm -hmm in different shapes <laughs> that we're kind of wondering about. I know it's like right now a little bit wet, but like still it's beautiful weather. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. So this is where, like when I was sort of going around the house in the yard, 
it's uh, there was one area where I was get, picking up congestion and I couldn't really like leave that area as I tried to move around I stayed in that one area and this really looks like it very much like in the meditation this whole spot here is really yeah. connecting me to that part of the meditation where I was stuck <laughs> where I'm finding more so, stuff than yeah. Yeah. is right where right in there right okay so we'll head over we're gonna head back we're gonna head back actually to this area that, they, that you guys call the dark forest the dark forest, the dark forest okay yeah. let's head back there then Okay, hello. We are inside the house now, starting our investigation. And I've got the full spectrum camera here, so I'm going to use this for a bit and actually do like an EVP session first, I think. Wanda is also here. Hi, Wanda. Hey. I'm uh, just trying to this. sense things, see how the house feels in general. Yeah, it feels pretty quiet and calm right now, so far still. Yeah, yeah. Nothing out of the ordinary or uh, Strange, ordinary. Strange, yeah. <laughs> ordinary. Paranormal. <laughs> yeah. So ordinary. I'm using the full spectrum, and I apologize if it's a little... I'm just hand holding it for now. So I've got a couple tools here on the table that I'm going to use. First of all, there is an EM pump. We're going to get some electromagnetic energy flowing in the house and see if we can get something to manifest and do something. Uh, second one is my digital recorder. I'm going to use that to do a EVP session and see if we get anything. So I'm going to actually, first of all, let that EM pump run a little bit and get the energy flowing and walk around just with the recorder in my hand to see for the video, let's see if I can pick up any shadows or anything. Because this video does run in full spectrum mode, so it picks up a lot more than we don't see. Okay. So we're just going to pan around the rim a little bit. Reflection off the light. And there's the light source right there too with the camera right now walking on camera. And they also have a bird in here too that's talkative. So we'll try to tag him if he talks at all so you guys know it's just him. There is light coming from the night vision system we have hooked up. So that's the light that you see. Night vision system we have hooked up, so that's the light that you see. I'm actually just trying to get some stuff together, um, see exactly what is going on within the kitchen area. Okay. Um, I'm missing one tool, which, unless if you've got it, it's the one that actually creates the EM. I've got it running in the living room right now to try to get a field going. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you. Now this tool here does deal with the temperature. Yes. Um, I am going to be going downstairs probably. So I'm going to be taking 
the SB11, okay. and also the digital recorder that plays back. Okay, so you're going to um, do a playback session down there? Yeah. Now, downstairs, though, I actually have the HTO, which is actually the Honda Trigger object. Yeah. Uh, there is actually a toy of a little car that's actually on there. I'm going to be going downstairs, so. Okay. Usually we do things actually with complete light, lights out, but since this is actually our base right now. Yeah, this is base, so we have lights on right now in a section, so. Yeah, so we're going to go down there. And on the table here, on the counter, this is all some of the stuff that they found in the walls of this place before they moved in. A little picture, some old tokens and pennies. There's an old doll here that is really creepy. Did somebody move this doll by chance? Did you pick it up? Okay. Because he's facing the other way. <laughs> His uh, wood arm used to be on the left side, so I was just wondering. And some old papers, and there's a map of the United States for some reason. All right, have fun downstairs. Yes. Alright, we're going to go upstairs with Wanda. Do you want to go upstairs? Yeah, let's do that. It's, uh, okay. it's let's a nice go. wide staircase here. Yeah, really nice. Here's Wanda up. Thus. You have a, uh, a lion. <laughs> yeah, that apparently is a statue. It kind of freaked me out for a second. I was like, whoa, what's that? It's my first time up here, so... Okay, the furnace is on right now, so I know it's a little bit distraction, but sometimes energy actually does like distractions. Is anybody around? I have a device actually my handle that you can communicate through. I do actually have a tool also that's right beside me though that you can actually use. I kept on seeing over here, uh, there's like little flashes, so I don't know if anybody's down here or even if anybody's upstairs taking pictures or what. But yeah, it was just something that I was noticing down here. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the flashlight again.
Yeah, that's sort of what I get for this whole house is that it's just it's history connected somehow. And you can and the, and the, it just flows into your imagination, like the history you connect with it so easily. Yeah, that's what I get too. When I'm walking in here, I don't get negative. I don't get active. It's just more residual haunt. It's like they're coming back from history, right? Yeah. So the house has personality. It's been yes. lived in. But maybe there's, like you were picking up earlier, uh, certain people in here. Uh, but maybe it's just a part of the history that's coming through, right? Um, I, I was con trying to consider that, whether those spirits, the teenage spirits and that, yes. were just part of the history, or part of the history but really connecting with the spirits, because those three, the one came through very strong. Mm -hmm. The teenage boy came in after. The meditation was over. That evening I went to bed to lay down and go to sleep. And he, that's when I met him. He came in after that on his own. I didn't mm. invite him through a meditation. Right. So I'm sure he's alive. So you think he's more intelligent than residual? Yeah. Yeah, okay. for those three. Well, let's go downstairs a I'm picking up female energy in here. I'm getting like a stronger female. Maybe the mother's side. Mm -hmm. That's interesting because this room doesn't feel like connected to the rest of the house in a way. As a, it just feels different. Um, It's not as comfortable in here no. as right now. But yeah, it feels disconnected from the rest of the house. Would that explain the feelings that mothers have to the children that you're picking up? Perhaps they weren't. This is where she would come when she was upset or something and by Just herself. The disconnect. Disconnect yeah. from, the, from the children too. If there's any spirits in here right now, can you please make a sound for us? Make a noise. Talk to us if you want. 
We're here to communicate with you tonight to find out what your trouble is, what you want to talk about. So come on through. Miss Wanda. Feel it. I just feel very wonky in this room. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I got a balancing. It feels a little off balance in here. The energy. It just feels like it's moving different ways. I'm <laughs> kind of. It's more of a vortex area. There is a like a push and pull of energies and. Whether or not it's a real swirling, or if it's, it's... Would this be a portal where they're coming through? to the other rooms, like even even in up here and downstairs. It's right in the head. Okay. Okay, we oh, just we just saw some energy wobble up the doorway before earlier. Oh yeah. That battery Come needs on, to be changed. Just before you came up, I just stuff right there by the door. And I had seen the energy and wobble just the there. Energy. And this is before I hit record. Okay. Um, There's a little girl up here with us right now. So the battery needs to be changed. Pay that back. Smoke detector, that's smoke detector. Yeah. Is it this yeah. one? Yeah. We first thought it was the bird. No, it's smoke detector. Yeah. I have a no, bunch of... she said she had their built in, so... I have a bunch of batteries. They could be built in, but still they need the battery. I know, but I don't want to take it apart if it's built in, so... But they're connected to the... No, we'll just have a peek at it, I guess, if we can... Yeah. So, I was downstairs. Were you taking flashes downstairs? Not downstairs. No. Okay, because I was saw like low flashes of white light. No. We were up here on the main floor. And I thought when you were talking, I was looking at the camera view, and I thought I saw something right near where the recorder was almost, but not quite. And I uh, and I know that there's flies running around, and there's little you can see little yeah stuff, but that just caught my eye differently. But the Okay. And then we fetched that word. That's right when we located her. She had, he had just asked if she would show herself yeah. and he snapped that picture. Really okay. solid over there. Alright, um, so... No, because downstairs I saw like flashes and right now I thought it was actually somebody taking pictures. Unless we turn the lights on and off and... Is there windows down there that... No. Like, it's a window but it's closed off. Okay, then... And it's brand new furnace, brand new air, uh, water softener, everything. And, um, we have a camera on there. Well, if you stand yeah. in closer, you'll be on camera when you talk about so much. It's okay, yeah. sorry, I'm off camera. Anyway, got that set up. I got yeah. the digital recorder going downstairs. I got the SP11 and also the uh, thermal yeah. all downstairs. So, well, we don't have much for audio. And if there's any spirits in here that do you want to communicate, you can please come through tonight. We're going to be here for a few hours. We want to try to communicate with you, find out what your issues are. 
If you want to communicate, you can talk to us, touch one of us, make a noise, whatever you feel like doing. Oh yeah? Like the energy of swirling. Oh, she's pulling. This is a little girl she's pulling me. Okay, well, where is she taking you? Out. <laughs> Back in? Uh -huh. Alright, well, let's follow. Down, 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 down. The whole arm now. Okay, well, she says, come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Yeah. Oh, you got a name already? She start. She, I'm getting bits of her name. It starts like Shamir, Shamir, Cheer. Cheer. Huh. She's talking about my little finger. Oh, I've seen the horses. Horses? And the energy up there was pulling and pulling this way and pulling that way. And um, I wasn't sure about that, what that was about. But uh, now the more that I connect with the little girl, even out here, the same energy, I'm not sure what to do now. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. So lots of stars out tonight. Clear. It's not too windy, not wind. Okay, well, we're gonna move over this way, Wanda. There we go. Big dipper up there. <laughs> too many stars, like oh my god, I love it. Unfortunately, I can't get that on camera. Let me just take this off for a sec. Yeah, really. The sky is great. The stars are amazing. You'll have to check them out, Trevor. Trevor loves stargazing. Okay, all right. So it's Mark here. I'm actually outside right now with Wanda. Um, I'm the one that's actually on camera. I'm looking up at the sky right now and I can actually see major stars, galaxies. I can't show you guys the reason why it's basically because of the type of camera I'm using. Beloved spirit guides, assist me in calling upon the highest energies from divinity, provoke the laws of harmony for myself, for Mark, and for Wanda, and for the homeowners of this house and land, and for all of us of Margot Clay who have found ourselves in a dark place of shadows that resist the light. Permit the healing light of transformation to move around and through this place of dwelling. Allow the transformation energy to purify and elevate all negative energies. All improper memories, all entities of evil purpose, all spirits who delight in wrongdoing, all vibrations that purge impure desires. Allow the transforming energy to replace all darkness with light. Remove all chaotic energies and replace them with the purest of energies, the power of love, and the glory of all good and beloved spirits. O oh, spirit guides, bless us with this light so that we go forth on this new day of cleansing, rejuvenated with perfect health, joy, illumination, and wisdom. Amen. Okay, we're just wrapping up our investigation of Coburn, Ontario, a private residence. Uh, we had a call from them and went up there to investigate their property and also their house. Now we had a few equipment running. We had um, our full night vision system, which is one of these cameras right here. It does actual night vision, not just infrared. If you do shine a white light on it, it does turn green on camera, so it's true night vision. 
and we had three of these cameras set up and running. Uh, one was outside on the property, one was down in the basement, and one on the main floor. So we ended up catching some evidence outside and that's what I'm going to talk about tonight. We just finished going over all the video and wrapped up everything for evidence on this case. The only thing we caught was a video. We didn't catch any EVPs and not much in photos either. Um, so the one thing on video we did catch was pretty interesting because it's actually of a white mist formation and it looks like an apparition starting to form and it's moving too. It actually comes from beyond the camera view right towards the house. Now this is a real connection point to us because one of the reports was that the husband actually encountered a white mist outside uh, on the porch one morning around 5 a.m. just while he was going out to work to leave. So uh, we think that's probably what he saw is what we caught. So we'll show you that little piece right now. <laughs> 